Joined right now by one of our Boston Power players, Alyssa Christie from Bentley's up in Newburyport area. Thanks for stopping by, Alyssa. Thanks for having me, Chris. Now, uh, interesting trends going on in the market right now. I have heard from some agents that the higher end uh, is starting to slow down at the tail end of the summer here. Are you seeing that up in Newburyport? We're not seeing that trend in Newburyport, actually. We have a lot of high volume, high sales, luxury properties that are quite frankly, flying off the market. There seems to be a surplus of buyers right now for more luxury, high-end properties. I think New Report is, is such a great market and will stay strong for a long time, just mainly due to the fact of location. You get a lot there and fairly close to the city. Yeah, we're 40 miles north of Boston. We have Plum Island right there, ton of restaurants going, a lot of things going on in Newburyport. It's attractive for a lot of buyers who might be downsizing in Andover, want a second home on Plum Island. So we're seeing a lot of activity. We'll talk about Plum Island in a second, but uh, in regards to New Report, like you said, the people coming from Andover, North Andover, anywhere really in the Cape and North Shore or from anywhere, frankly, uh, New Report is a great market for empty nesters and people looking to right size, let's say. Right, uh, they might be downsizing, but they might not be downpricing. Newburyport offers the walkability, the downtown shopping, the quaint shops, the water. There's so many things about it that make it attractive for someone looking for another home, a new home. And right now, a lot of those homes are a million dollars and plus. Which is, uh, you know, uh, it's amazing that we're in that market here in the greater Boston area, but some, it, those prices just continue to rise. We're lucky to live in the area that, that, that we live in, that the values hold. Oh, absolutely. Um, any other trends that you're seeing right now in the market? Uh, well, I mean, in general, from 2016 to 2017, we saw a 50% increase in high-end sales in Newburyport. We've seen a 100% increase on Plum Island. Uh, the market is steady. We're seeing that continue through 2018, and we're almost at a year end at this point. Well, let's talk about Plum Island. Okay. We're betting you guys actually just launched PlumIsland.com. Yes, Check it we out. Did. Um, uh, that area is such a unique spot. For those who don't understand or know where Plum Island is, why don't you give us a background? Uh, Plum Island, a lot of people, you're right, don't know about it. It's 40 miles north of Boston, five minutes to downtown Newburyport. It's a barrier island with beautiful beaches that in my opinion, are very similar to Nantucket beaches. We have a lot of wildlife, birds, uh, also right on the river. So it's really a beautiful spot and a great place to have a second home or a vacation that, again, is only 40 miles north of Boston. And it used to be an island that was pretty quiet, didn't have a lot going on or transportation. That I heard that there's, there's shuttles now that actually go on and off the island and bring you right down Right from the train station and from downtown Newburyport that bring you right to Plum Island's beautiful beaches. And it's been a great summer for Plum Island. A lot of people think that they have to go to the Cape or go hundreds of miles north to Maine. Yeah. Plum Island is, is it's a, a hidden gem. Is a hidden gem. Yeah. It's, it's starting to get discovered and we're seeing peop, more and more homes coming on the market, more buyers interested in moving to Plum Island. Great information. Thanks, Alyssa. And if yeah. you'd like to learn more about Plum Island or New Report, check out either website, PlumIsland.com or NewReport.com. And uh, we have more information just like this right here on Boston.com.